Welcome to Ravensbourne 2012. We're lucky to have another keynote speaker. This is Richard Hogley, Head of Digital at Sky Creative. So Richard, can you tell us what this keynote was about? Yeah, it was about how we connect with our future customers. So we did a bit about how important content is, uh, and especially for Sky, um, how fragmented the TV landscape is becoming. We spoke a bit about um, the importance of now second screen experiences uh, and making that content more personalized, about having content on the move as well, so you can watch it not necessarily just in the home, but when you're out and about. Um, and we also spoke a little bit about now integrated campaigns and how important that is within the social media landscape uh, and some of the new things that are happening within Sky. So when you say uh, I bottom the second screen is about, what do you have in mind really? Is that uh, the, the mobile phone or is that an, uh, t a tablet? What do you have in mind when you think about that? Most of the second screen stuff that we've been doing is more tablet based because it's more of a TV viewing experience. So the couple of apps that we've got, one is an F1 app, which um, basically the viewing experience on the tablet changes with the viewing experience on the actual TV. And then a lot of the other applications that we do have on both mobile and um, tablets are more secondary content experiences. So it's more engaging, personalized experience um, and catching up on content that you may well have missed as part of a live broadcast experience. Yes, so basically we talked to Andrew Dobbs and your colleague uh, earlier and we, we mentioned how quickly the trends change and how people watch TV obviously differently. Uh, how can you cope, how can you catch up uh, with this uh, permanent race to be one first and then to engage the user? <laughs> Good question. Um, it's always difficult trying to be first and I think um, for us we're trying to build quite robust products that actually, actually work and we've got quite a lot of products as well so that makes it hard to be first but I think we're, we're doing a pretty good job. I think we were first with the, uh, the Sky News iPad application uh, and we also I think first with the pure sort of a, the F1 application that obviously works as a pure second screen experience. So I think we've, we've done quite a lot first with those so I think we'll hopefully try and keep up with that. Um, and the second part of your question was basically trying to uh, get ahead of the trend and try to, to keep up with the technology aspects and the new uh, relationship users have with their devices. Yeah, I think trying to keep uh, ahead of the curve technology wise is, um, is quite tough. Nobody knows um, what's going to happen with technology and I think we try to use as many of the technologies as we can for the best use that that technology sort of gives, gives us. As, as I sort of said as part of the keynote, we're using, still using Flash quite a lot for doing prototyping, um, which is a really useful tool creatively to just get your ideas out of there. But then we use sort of agile and um, iOS development for actually building the core products that match themselves. Can I ask you about uh, something we see happening where big companies uh, do a open source or partially open source uh, uh, strategy to get one a street cred uh, with developers and to maybe try to uh, get developers to work uh, the beta version and to get maybe critical mass uh, before the product is really launched. Is that something uh, in the uh, in Sky you might think about? Um, not at the moment, I don't think. I mean, I'm not, I don't really, I mean, we're responsible ultimately for creative and front end sort of design and build, so we're not really part of the development. It's a marketing strategy as well, you could, you could think. Yeah, I, I think some of our content is quite um, exclusive content, there's rights issues, so it's the sort of stuff that we can't really sort of let out into the marketplace for people to play with, unfortunately. Um, which is, you know, I think we are doing a lot more work around APIs and making those APIs especially a lot more available internally for us to use, whether they get used externally or not. I'm not sure they will, but um, you know, may maybe. And, and finally, uh, I have to ask what you think is coming next. I think it's a global general question. Uh, it's changing every two months. So in your department with uh, the question of advertising, uh, the, the competition getting very hard, um, in terms of business models, do you see any shifts going, uh, going soon to arrive? I think the things I can see coming up is I think we'll be doing a lot more integrated campaigns that leverage a lot more social. I think we'll be building less websites and we'll be putting more focus on building interactive, engaging applications that sort of sit in line with the broadcast experience as part of Zbox as we were talking about earlier. So as you're watching a TV program, we're bringing your social content into there and we're also looking to then make that experience more interactive and build in specific apps within Zbox for you to access rather than throwing people out to siloed websites. Okay, thanks so much Richard for talking to us. Uh, this was another video about uh, design uh, creativity uh, at um, Sky and obviously lots coming uh, 
uh, Avenue Goods 2012. So keep watching Vision on TV, channel plug and play. Thank you.